Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, we're going to go over Yan Fly's item synthesis. So let's look at the plugin. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get the download. You want to put it right underneath the item core, uh, and if you're using the item upgrade slots, it'll have to be under that too. So you're going to need the core engine for that. You're going to need the item core and then the item synthesis plugin. So let's take a look at the parameters. So right off the bat, you have your synthesis command, and that's basically what it's going to say on the menu. The show command is going to enable it on the menu, but it will be grayed out if you make the next one enable command, command false. So if you want it to be there and accessible, you have to set both of these to true without using a plugin command. Auto place command, if you set this to false, you'll have to go into your main menu manager and specify where you want it to be. Now, moving down to the command window, we have the item command. This is what it's going to say when you're crafting an item. You can have it synthesize item, forge item, whatever you want. This is just, you know, what it, what it says. Same thing for a weapon and armor. The finish command is uh, the last thing it says uh, when, it's, when it's done. Like, you could say completed or whatever you want it to say. Alignment, pretty simple. Do you want it to be on the left, the middle, or the right? <clears throat> For the status window, uh, the collected recipes is what it's going to say in the top right corner. Once again, this is just the dialogue of what it says. So you can have it say uh, current uh, known recipes or whatever you want. Um, same thing, this will be underneath it uh, for the like th the completion, you know, the zero out of however many possible you have. Crafted items, weapons, and armors. You can change that to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter too much. Equipped recipes, what this is going to do is let you put a recipe list on like say there's a, a Tinkerer's tools that you actually create as a weapon and you can only create the certain type of item with the Tinkerer's tools. So you would create the tool as the recipe book and um, it would normally w work if it's in your inventory but if you wanted to read it for when you're wearing it you would have to set this to true. Mask unknown, this is going to turn um, recipes that you haven't crafted yet into whatever you want. In this case, it would be question marks. You could have it say X or exclamation mark or whatever. And if you set this to true, you'll have to craft them to see what it says. Um, this will make it italic if it's uncreated yet. If, you're, if this is uh, false, this won't matter, this won't matter. Um, also, this won't matter as well if you set this to false. What this is going to do is, uh, in the descrip description on the right-hand side, it's going to say this item has not been synthesized, or, or basically the parameter will let you say what it's supposed to say in-game. In Ingredient text is basically the, what it says on the menu. What do you want it to say? Ingredients, materials, amount text. You, I don't know why you would change that. Quantity. Uh, the text size, pretty self-explanatory how big the font is. This is the sound effect that plays when you finish crafting. Uh, an item and this is the, the volume pitch and pan of that sound effect so now that we've done our parameters we've gone through them and we've got our plugin installed and it's on <clears throat> let's go into our database and see how we would start uh, making recipe books and items so to start off what you're gonna do is create your crafting you're gonna make your items first what you want to make so let's go ahead and, and we'll look at our ingredient items and then our crafting items so if we want to use ore to turn them into ingots, we'll have to create both items, obviously. On the, the crafting materials themselves, you don't have to put any note tags. But on the finished product thing that you want to craft, you'll have to type this. In brackets, you'll type a capital S on synthesis, put a space, capital I on ingredients, and close that off with a bracket. Inside of, inside of here, you can do uh, multiple ways. I like to type the name out because it's easier for me to reference what it's supposed to require but you can also put the number of the item. So see, this is bronze ore here. If I were to put 201 and then a semicolon and a space and then the number I wanted to require, it would work exactly the same. Why you might want to do this is if you have multiple items with the same name, it's going to take the item with the highest uh, number in your database. So if you're using lots of copied items, like I'll have two or three bronze ore, but I want it to require a, spe a specific bronze ore, then I would put the number in right there. Otherwise, you just type in the name. <clears throat> it helps later on when you're trying to reference. Um, you know, obviously, you're not going to remember what every number in your database is, but you will remember what bronze ore is when you read bronze ore. So you'll put a, uh, a colon after that and a space, and then you'll put the number of the item you want it to require. Now, keep in mind, if I put a space right here, 
in the database, if we look at bronze ore, there's no space at the end. So this would work, but if I went like that, now it's not going to find it. It's not going to show it at all. So this would, this is actually incorrect. I'd have to go like that for it to read it correctly. <clears throat> After you've input, uh, inputted all of your ingredients, you can have it require other things too. If you wanted to require multiple things, you could do that and it would work fine. After you've got all of the ingredients for this final product, you're going to close it off by just copy pasting this and putting a, a forward slash or backslash in front of synthesis ingredients. So okay, we've got our crafting material, we've got our final product, we've got the, the note tag for the ingredients, but how is the game going to know that your, your party has the ability to craft that? Well, we have to make a crafting book. So let's go uh, scroll down to our crafting books. And we have this book right here that's got, uh, it's called Precious Metals, and it's basically our recipe book. So the party won't be able to make any of those ingots until they have this book in their inventory. So I've set, to, set this as a key item, it doesn't have to be a key item, but you'll make it uh, not consumable, never, and none. You're going to put this in the, the note tags. <clears throat> You're going to do uh, open bracket, capital I on item, space, capital R on recipe, colon, space. And then you could either put numbers like this, I could go like this, item, recipe, 215 comma 216 comma 217 and it'll work the same as if I did all of those um, but if you know that all of the items you wanted to craft are one next to each other you can go 215 to 227 as long as you put a space in between here it'll read it correctly <clears throat> and this is the same as this all the way up to you know 227 So you can do that anyway. This is would be important because uh, say you there's one item in between these two numbers. Like say item 220 you wouldn't want to be able to craft. Well then you would go item recipe 215 uh, to 219. And you would make another one for item recipe 221 to 227. And, and we would get rid of that one. And now this would let us craft all the items but 220. So that's a good, uh, another way you could do it. <clears throat> so once we've got the crafting book with the item recipes, we've got our ingredient items, and we've got our cra uh, final product items all in the database. All we'd have to do is award them to the player. Now if you start a game, let's go into, I would say right here probably. If we start a game, well, we're probably going to need some, uh, did I just mess that up? I didn't change anything, so that's fine. Let's make a quick treasure chest with some gold. That way we'll be able to buy the books because I didn't start my character with them. All right. All right, so if we look right here, you may notice we don't have the synthesis. So you may be thinking, oh, I've set it to true. Why is it not on the menu? Well, you actually have to have a book and the ability to craft the items before it auto places it. Because what's the point of having another uh, piece of text on your menu that does nothing yet? So let's buy the book that we, uh, not buy gems. Let's buy the book. Our, uh, let's see, what do we do? The precious, precious metals. Well, we're gonna buy the alchemy guides. But now that we've got a book, we're going to see that synthesis showed up. And we're able to craft the items that are in that book. And on the right-hand side, it'll tell you what it requires, depending on what you put in your note tags of those particular items. And up here, current recipes, crafted items, crafted armors, weapons, and all that. This, All this text can be changed. The materials text can be changed. What it says right here can be changed. It's completely malleable, and it's up to what you want it to say. So that's basically it. There's not too much more to it. Um, if you have any questions about the synthesis, uh, Yanfly synthesis plugins, or anything else in general, just leave a comment below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this sort of content. And we will see you guys in the next tutorial.